Welcome to the Paul Albertson Research Institute at Cancer Care Manitoba. I'm Joel, I run the lab. It's them that do all the actual work. I do a little bit of work actually because I, <laughs> I love working in the lab, but uh, I'm Joel Pearson and I'm a recipient of the CCS Emerging Scholars Research Grant. Within the Canadian research landscape or Canadian cancer research landscape, CCS has really been the leader in bringing the patient voice into research. As a patient partner, I work collaboratively with patients, caregivers, researchers, clinicians, surgeons. So um, we leave the science <laughs> and the procedures um, to the researchers and the doctors, um, but our piece is we look at um, what impact this research will have on cancer as a whole and what impact the research will have on actual patients. Why I think patient partners play such an important role in research is it's the different perspective they bring um, and you know things that we don't think about in the lab necessarily. Um, and then you can come down this way so where our lab is. This tour came to be, I guess, when CCS reached out to me a, a few months ago with, with this idea to do a, a patient tour. Um, and I guess it was partly spurred by a, a local uh, patient partner here in Winnipeg. I came up with the idea that there is too much of a gap between the research and the people that the research is being done for. Lindsay and I have read through your grant. When we arrived at the lab today, it was a pretty neat full circle moment. We had reviewed one of Dr. Joel's grants. His research was funded by CCS, so we are now able to see the funds allocated from CCS to Dr. Pearson um, happening in real life. Definitely really neat to have been on each side of the review process. Everybody in the lab is really passionate about what we do. That's really what drives us, and we really want that to come across to people. You could hear some of the researchers just saying that it gives them new meaning to the work that they're doing. It was pretty heartwarming to see that they appreciated it just as much as we did. It is the first time like I really see that the patients really involved in their research. It's fantastic. I think what it does is it creates that connection between the researchers and the patients and that is going to translate into the greater world. I saw a lot of power in the connection between the patients and the researchers when they're talking and they're saying to each other the meaning that each of them brings to each other's lives. It's really easy to look at a slide under a microscope and go, oh, the cell did this or the cell did that. When you extrapolate it all the way to the end game though, where what you did with that cell saved that woman's life, and now you're going to meet that woman. I thanked each of the young researchers today for saving my life. It's just been such a positive and motivating experience that uh, it's, it's been really great for me and, and really everybody in my lab. So even some of the, the people in the lab after the tour came and talked to me about it, right? And they don't necessarily on a regular basis think about things like quality of life and, and side effects from the treatments. I think the Canadian Cancer Society is a trailblazer when it comes to including patient voices and that they genuinely want to hear from us and that our voices are truly making a difference.